welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new for the first time. My name is Katie. I am super excited about this because this video is going to be the first um, and kind of like a little mini series, I guess you could say. Um, we are going on a really big road trip. And so the next several videos are going to be kind of documenting that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this little, I guess, like mini series. Um, I'm, we are just so excited. Um, we have not traveled very much because of COVID, obviously. Um, we did do like one little trip over the summer to like the next state, um, of one of our neighboring states. And that was fun. But as far as like going anywhere else, we have just not... And, you know, it's just nice to get away and to get out of your, like, everyday um, routine and life. So, we're really excited about this. And um, this has kind of been something that we planned kind of last minute. So, here's the story. Uh, my husband has two younger sisters that are quite a bit um, younger than him. Like, there's a pretty big gap. Um, and so, his youngest sister, she was supposed to graduate college um, last May in 2020. And because of COVID, their graduation got canceled. And it was really, really awful because, you know, you work so hard for four years to graduate college. She did amazing. Um, she was going through a lot of like stuff in her personal life at the same time. And we were just so proud of her for being able to balance it all and handle it all with like such grace and such um, determination. And then her, you know, big moment, her graduation got canceled and like she got her diploma in the mail. Like how anticlimactic is that when you have put four years into something? So we felt really bad for her, um, but they told her that her options were she could either participate in like the December graduation, she could participate in the May 2021 graduation, I think they also did like a little thing at homecoming in the fall um, for the 2020 graduates. But she had a lot of friends that were like in the year um, under her that were going to be graduating this May in 2021. So she decided that she would participate in the graduation ceremony um, for 2021. And she still lives there on the campus um, because she works for the college. So, and she's also getting her master's. She went ahead and started that. So she's still there. So it worked out good for her. Um, and so it was, you know, it's a big deal for her to be able to have her graduation, even though she's, you know, been done for a year. Um, and my husband and I, you know, started talking about it about a month ago. Like we were not planning on going. It's a very long ways away. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel, we live in the state of Massachusetts and where she lives is in South Carolina. So that is like the opposite sides of the East Coast. Um, but my husband and I are both originally from South Carolina and a lot of both of our families still live there. Um, so if you've ever watched my channel and like wondered why I have a Southern accent or why I don't have a Boston accent, that's why, <laughs> because I'm not originally from here and everybody up here thinks that I have like a really strong accent, but you know, it is what it is. That's how I learned to talk. So anyways, um, we were really talking about it about a month ago and I just really felt like we needed to be there for this. Um, like I said, she's gone through a lot in the past year or so and, um, you know, we're a big part of her support system and I just felt like it was extremely important for us to be there at the graduation. Um, we could fly, but flying, you know, is very expensive. We're a family of five. It's very expensive to fly. And also flying still makes me a little bit nervous with COVID going on. Just, I don't know, the kids would have to wear masks the whole time in the plane. And it's already stressful enough flying with kids because I feel like as soon as you like get onto the plane, everybody's giving you death glares and you know, oh, here we go. There's a, you know, little kids hope they don't scream the whole time. So you're already stressed out enough. I really don't want to have to be like stressing about keeping their mask on and everything else. Um, so I really, we did not want to fly. So to drive it's about a 16 to 17 hour drive. <laughs> and with three kids, obviously we have to stop, you know, probably about every two hours or so. Somebody has to go to the bathroom, somebody needs a snack, whatever. Um, and we did this trip about two years ago when Ellie was like six weeks old. We did this trip. 
Um, and we, that was our first time doing it with kids. We have done it before, before our kids also. And we attempted to drive straight through the night. We made it to about midnight and, um, all the kids, they had fallen asleep, but then they woke up and they were all screaming. They were all crying. It was awful. So we just like found the quickest hotel, um, and decided that that just isn't a good option for our family. So this time going into it, we know that we will stop, um, at about a little past the halfway mark and spend the night. So th it's a big ordeal. It's a two day trip down, a two day trip back up. Um, it's a big commitment, but like I said, I think it's really important for us to be there. And it's also, I think going to be really fun, like a road trip with kids. Yes, there's going to be moments that aren't fun, but you can make it fun. And I think just getting out of our state and getting away and being with family is going to be awesome. So we're super excited. And um, so I want to show you guys some things that I got for the trip, some like um, essentials, I guess I would say. And yeah, I'm going to be sharing the road trip part with you guys. And hopefully you enjoy coming along with us. So we are leaving on Tuesday, April 27th, and we're going to try to do like the bulk of the trip that day. So we're going to leave early in the morning and we'll probably drive, you know, sometime into the evening and then find a hotel wherever we are in Pennsylvania and then um, get up early Wednesday and drive the rest of the way um, to my grandma's house. So my grandma lives like a half hour away from where my sister-in-law goes to college. So that actually works out perfectly. We get to spend time with my grandma, which is awesome. Um, she lives, you know, far away, so we don't get to see her often. So, so when we do get to see her, it's just so special to spend that time with her. Um, and it's been um, at least like a year and a half since we've seen her, like before all the COVID stuff started. So we're super excited to see her and spend time with her. Um, so yeah, that is our driving plan. Um, and then we'll be there for about a week. And then on the way back, we're going to spend an extra day in Pennsylvania and we're going to go to the Hershey chocolate world. We're going to drive through Amish country, see what we can find to do there. Hopefully, you know, some other fun things like that, because in our past experience, the drive back is much harder. You know, on the way there, you're like super excited and you're energized and you're ready to go. So it seems to go a lot faster. On the way back, you're like dreading it. You already know, like <laughs> you've done the trip a week before and um, it's just harder on the way back. So we try to stop and do some fun stuff to kind of break it up and make it um, a little bit more fun. So we're excited about that. Um, also this is super exciting guys. My sister-in-law does not know that we're coming. Um, so that my plan when we decided that we would go is that we're not going to tell her because I love surprises. I love like doing surprises and there's not very many times in life when you can do like an epic surprise. And this is going to be such an epic surprise because we live so far away. Like she thinks that, you know, we, we wouldn't come because of COVID and because it's so far with the kids and everything. Um, but we're coming and we're going to surprise her. So I still haven't exactly planned like the moment that we're going to surprise her. And I've been in contact with her boyfriend. He's trying to help me like plan and think through. Um, so I will definitely keep you guys updated on how that goes. And hopefully I'll get her reaction on camera um, because her boyfriend and I definitely think she's going to cry. I'm probably going to cry. We're all going to be crying because we haven't seen her in two years, you guys. We haven't seen her since the last time we went to South Carolina when Ellie was six weeks old. And now she's almost two and a half. So, you know, we FaceTime all the time, multiple times a week. Um, you know, we're always in constant contact. But just to see somebody, you know, face to face and spend time together is just so much better. Um, so... We're just super excited. I can't wait to see what her reaction is. And then also I'm going to be throwing her like a little graduation party um, the next day. 
So I'm really excited about that. Um, the church that her and her boyfriend go to, um, her boyfriend already like rented one of the rooms there, the fellowship hall or whatever. He reserved it for us. And I've been ordering decorations from Amazon and I've been to um, Dollar Tree and I went to walmart.com and I'm going to order like a little round cake. There's only going to be, I think, 11 of us. It's going to be the five of us, um, Logan's dad, Logan's other sister, um, and then Rachel and her boyfriend and then her boyfriend's parents. So, you know, it's not a whole lot of people, but I still want it to be really special. So I'm going to get like a cake from Walmart. Um, they have a round cake and they'll do it like in her school colors, which is red, black, and white. Um, and then Olive Garden will do like a really nice catered meal and they deliver it. So that's nice. We won't have to deal with like trying to pick it up. And so they'll do like three different kinds of pasta, three different kinds of protein, like meat, and then three different kinds of sauces and the salad and the breadsticks and they give you like the plates the silverware the napkins everything that you need so it's really convenient and it's a really good price i think so we're going to do that as the meal so that's going to be on saturday um so i'm going to be showing you guys all of that also so i'm just so excited like this is so fun and so special for us to be able to spend time with family that we don't get to see very often and the kids are just so excited. So as long as we can get through this 16 hour drive, then the fun begins. <laughs> so I just want to take you guys along um, on this journey in these next several videos. So hopefully you enjoy these and you enjoy coming along with our family. Okay, I'm going to show you guys some of the decorations that I've been picking up for her party that I'm doing for her. Um, I'm you know, we only have limited car space, so I don't want to like go crazy, but these things are really small. They can pack easily. Once we get there, I'm probably going to go to Dollar Tree or maybe Walmart down there and see if they have anything. Because, you know, usually Dollar Trees, like the local ones, they'll have stuff that's in the local school's colors. And so like my town up here, the colors are orange and black. So they have a lot of that color stuff, but I need red, black, and white. So I'm hoping that the local Dollar Tree that is near her school we'll have more stuff in those colors. Um, and you know, I don't need a lot. Like I said, it's going to be a small party, but I do want to make it special. I'm also going to get some balloons, which obviously I can't do that until like the day of. Um, but let me show you what I got her. Okay. So Dollar Tree did have cards and I thought this one was pretty because it has the red and black and, um, it just says you did it. Happy graduation. Um, this was from the Dollar Tree. And it's just a tablecloth. It's kind of hard to see, but it says hats off to you. And it has like the red, black, and gold, which I'm, that's probably what I'm going to be going with, with like pops of red thrown in, just because that seems to be easiest. Um, I ordered these off Amazon. They're just little gold stars that I can sprinkle on the table. And this is a gold banner that says congratulations. So I will hang that from somewhere. <clears throat> this is also a... Uh, garland it's silver white and black and it's um like a a tissue tassel garland so that will be cute these i ordered off amazon they are oh it's upside down little like mini cascade centerpieces and they're red and have the little graduation hats so i got four of those um to put on the tables like i said we won't have very many tables um so i'm just i'm not going like overboard but i want it to be cute and you guys would not imagine how hard it's been looking for graduation stuff because almost everything has 20, uh, 2021 written on it. And of course, she's not a 2021 graduate. She's a 2020 graduate. So it's been kind of hard trying to find just stuff that doesn't say the year on it um, because they don't have any 2020 stuff left. So I've been trying to find stuff that does not have the year on it. And that has been harder than you would think. Okay, now let me show you what... I got her um, as like a gift from us. Okay, so first of all, she's a coffee drinker. So I got her this really cute Contigo um, mug. And I thought that this was a really cute design. We love Contigo mugs in our family. They are a really awesome brand. You can get them at Target. That's where I got this one. And they keep stuff hot for six hours. Like it'll stay hot for forever. Um, so I got her that. Um, she loves makeup. So I found this at Marshall's um, and I loved the colors that were in this one. So I think she'll like them. And then I got her this really pretty Kate Spade um, fleece blanket. 
and it's navy blue with white polka dots and it's so soft I love fuzzy blankets so I think she'll like this she has her own little apartment on campus so I think um she'll like this to keep in her little living room okay and this is the last thing that I got for my sister-in-law as her gift I um <laughs> made this I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this or not, but it's called Diamond um, Diamond Painting. And it's almost like a paint-by-number, color-by-number thing. Um, but it's these little tiny gems. And um, the whole picture is, like, numbered. So you put the gem, um, you know, in the right spot. And when you're all done, it makes a picture. So I have really enjoyed doing these. Um, this is the first one I did. And then I found it really relaxing and really fun. Like I do it at night after the kids go to bed. Like some people I know, they do like puzzles or crossword puzzles or whatever. Well, I do these and they're really fun. You can get them on Amazon and they, they do take a lot of time. Obviously it's a little tiny gym and this is a big, a big picture. Um, but I bought this frame off of Amazon um, so she can hang it in her apartment and she loves cows. So that is why I picked this design for her um, and so after I finished that one it didn't take me as long as I thought it would so I also let me see if I can get this out of here with one hand I also got this one for my other sister-in-law and she loves mermaids so this one is supposed to be like a little mermaid and I just loved that I thought that this was really cute um yeah so those are mine that I made and if you've never heard of that just um google diamond art painting and you can see them but I think they're really pretty and they're cool and I think it's kind of special that you know I you know took the time and effort uh to do those all right these are some of the things that I'm packing for our road trip vacation um these are similar things that I would pack also if we were flying so just to give you an idea I like to get cheap toothbrushes to bring and then at the end of the trip I can just throw them away I don't have to worry about bringing toothbrushes back with me so these are like 99 cents for two of them at Target. And then these, I think they were at Walmart and it was a five pack. We've already used one, but we only need three. And I think those were um, five for a dollar at Walmart. This, um, so I got individual body washes for my husband and myself. I got the Olay for me and the Old Spice for him. But for the kids, since there's three of them and they all share, I don't think that would be enough. So I just grabbed a really, really cheap, um, like regular sized, and it's the three in one. So I can use it for shampoo and body wash. And this was like 99 cents at Walmart. Um, and so, you know, it was 99 cents. So if I don't want to bring it back with me, I can throw it away. I can leave it at my grandma's house for other grandkids to use, you know, just so that I am not wasting money on three um, individual little ones or whatever. I also got a little um, shave gel for myself, a little face wash that my husband and I will share. The kids have a little tube of toothpaste. Every time they go to the dentist, they give them each their own little tube. So we have so many of these. So <laughs> definitely trying to use those up. I have an individual thing for my husband and myself. I got these um, individual makeup remover wipes instead of having to bring cotton balls and my bottle of makeup remover I just got these and how many is in here 20 so I will just um, use those every day I have a little thing of lotion and this we use this on another trip too so it's about half empty and then my husband has a little thing of shave cream and then I got a three pack of wipes um, you know that are all that are together in their package still which will be nice just keeps them together and then I can use those as we go I forgot to show you guys this. This stuff is amazing for traveling. This is the Downy Wrinkle Releaser Spray. So if you have wrinkly clothes that got wrinkled in your suitcase, you just spray this um, and then kind of smooth the fabric out and the wrinkles go away. You don't have to iron, which is great because I do not iron. <laughs> and they sell bigger bottles of this. Um, so you can use it like every day at home um, if you don't iron or whatever. I try to always take my clothes out of the dryer like right away so they don't get wrinkly. But on trips, stuff always gets wrinkled in the suitcase. So um, this was at Target in the travel section. So definitely, I think it was like $1.50. So I picked that up so that I can make sure our clothes are not wrinkly for the trip. 
So moving on, I'm going to show you guys some more stuff that I got for the road trip. This I also ordered off Amazon. It is a dual position car seat headrest mount. Um, so we can play the iPad. We can put it in between mine and Logan's seats, the front seats, and then all three kids in the back can see it. So we can play movies on there. <laughs> Hopefully they um, will all want to watch the same movie. They usually do. Um, and then here's some snacks that I got. These are little individual eight bags of trail mix. These are gummies. This is candy. If anybody's crying and having to melt down a lollipop or whatever usually solves the problem for a little while when you're in the car and you can't stop. Um, individual things of Pringles, bags of goldfish, applesauce pouches, um, granola bars, vanilla cream cookies. These are little bags of chocolate chip cookies. These are for me and Logan. I've never tried this before, but I love spicy, so I'm hoping that they're really good. The jalapeno and cheddar jack cheese it duos. I also got a gallon jug of water um, just because like if the kids are eating these snacks and they get thirsty, we don't want to have to stop. And plus water is expensive. Like if you buy it at a gas station or whatever, this was 99 cents at Walmart for a gallon. And we keep, um, they all have water bottles that we keep in the diaper bag so I can just easily um, refill them and not have to buy <laughs> expensive bottles of water. So that's what we have for snacks. Like I said, if anybody's having a meltdown or crying, snacks usually help solve it, especially if we're on the interstate and we can't, you know, stop. Another thing that I love to do for long car rides is have lots of prizes. You know, it's a very long time for them to be sitting still in their car seat and we kind of use prizes as an incentive, you know, to get them to do good. If you do a good job sitting um, and not fighting or screaming or crying, you get a prize every so often. Um, I think it just helps a lot. <laughs> so I got some stuff at the dollar store. This is like a five pack of the Lego, um, you know, generic Lego men. These are Playmobil figures, like a surprise bag for Emmy and Lawson. They love Playmobiles and they love surprise bags. Um, so I know that they're going to be excited about that. These are just some tissues in case anybody needs some. I needed more for the car and they had this fun Trolls World Tour six pack for a dollar. A little mermaid Barbie figure, a little fairy figure for Ellie, a Paw Patrol book for Lawson. I decided to get them each their own thing of chapstick. Um, they all like chapstick and I figured that would keep them occupied for a while. So um, My Little Pony for Ellie, LOL Dolls for Emmy, Ryan's World for Lawson. At the thrift store, I found these. Okay, leave me a comment if you guys played with these when you were a kid because I totally did and I had completely forgotten about BrainQuest until I was at the thrift store and found these for $1.29. And this is perfect as first grade, ages six to seven. And our oldest, Emery, she loves to ask questions. I mean, she will come up with the most deep questions at the most random times. And she just loves to learn. Like her brain is always going. So I thought that this would be fun for the car ride. Um, it has questions on one page, which is smaller, a van or a minivan. And on the very next page is the answer, a minivan. And so this is so many questions. Like, I don't know if it says how many is in there, but that's a thick stack. So that should, <laughs> that should keep her going if she gets bored or whatever. And then it also helps mom because I don't have to sit there and come up with questions. I can just, you know, because <laughs> my brain is not as active as hers is. And so then I went to Marshall's the other day and they had some really great clearance. So I found all of this stuff at Marshall's on clearance. Ellie loves Baby Shark. This was $1.50. And you can put your finger in there, you know, and make it move. So it's a little book. I know she'll love that. And this little TY, um, it's like a zipper, you know, bag pouch thing. It was only a dollar. So that will probably be for Emmy. This was a dollar fifty. I have no clue what this is, guys. But my kids, they just love anything that has surprises. Anything that they can play with and open for a dollar fifty. I'll get it. This was the only thing not on clearance, um, but it was only $3.99, so I didn't think that was too bad. Um, and like I said, Ellie loves Baby Shark, so she can do this, and then no mess for the car, which will be great. She won't be able to get a um, marker all over herself or the car seat. And then I found a bunch of really cool books. Like, look at this one. I love this one for Lawson. 
it's a wipe clean workbook so it comes with the marker and he can do all these activities he can trace he can count he can work on his letters um, and then afterwards we can just wipe it clean so you can use it over and over again I just loved that. I thought that that was really cool. And it was on clearance for $3. So I thought that that was a super good deal. I love Scholastic. Um, he also loves Toy Story. And so this one was on clearance for $6. And that was a little bit pricey. But I figured since it had like the Etch-A-Sketch thing, um, it was worth it. So it has the Etch-A-Sketch and then also the book. And inside the book it will teach you how to draw the characters so hopefully he <laughs> will enjoy that and get some use out of it this i found for emmy y'all know we just went to legoland um, in boston and she loves the lego friends which is like the girly legos this was on clearance for a dollar fifty and it is a sticker book so it has tons of stickers and um, she can put them, you know, on the pages. So that will keep her occupied for a while. I also found this is a Melissa and Doug um, dress up. And these stickers are reusable. So you can take them off and then re-stick them. And that was on clearance for $3. I found this at Target the other day. You guys might have seen that in my Target haul. Um, this is like a wooden doll. Um, and it has the magnetic pieces. So kind of like the paper dolls that we had when we were kids. So she can dress up Cinderella. And then I also found these at um, Dollar Tree for a dollar. And they um, have stickers in them. And you can make the characters' faces, like, decorate their expressions and stuff, which I thought was really cool. So I got three of those, one for each of them. This one is, like, the Disney emojis. This one is Star Wars for Lawson. And then another emoji um, sticker book. So I was super excited that I found all of that stuff. Um, I thought that was really good deals. And that's a lot of stuff, I think. Hopefully that will be enough to make it work for on the trip down and then also on the trip back. Um, the snacks, I can always reorder snacks and have the, um, go pick them up from the Walmart down there for the ride back if we need to. But I think that will be good um, for snacks for at least the way down. And we will stop and eat um, lunch and dinner the first day, hopefully. By the time dinner comes around the second day, we'll be at my grandma's house, I hope. Um, but, you know, have to be flexible when you're doing stuff like this because you don't know if you're going to hit traffic or road work or whatever. So um, I have this big, like, canvas bag that I got from, like, Marshalls or whatever. And I'm going to put the prizes and the snacks in that bag and then keep that up in the front beside or between Logan and I, so I have like easy access to it. Um, so I'm about to fill up that bag now. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog because this was a lot longer than I intended it to be. I know I was super chatty and I talked a lot. So if you made it all the way through this video, <laughs> you guys are awesome. And I need to go finish packing because we're leaving tomorrow. So on the next video, you'll see us starting our road trip. And I hope you guys will come back and tune in for that one. And until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy